To build ASP.NET Core MSC application, we should have clear understanding of the core components that help us to build MVC application. As we already know, model, view, and controller are the core components that make up MVC application. Hi, this is Ahana. In our today's session, we are going to have a discussion on the controller. In our last session, we had a discussion on MVC architecture and how ASP.NET Core Framework supports this architecture. If, if you are interested in the video, I'll keep the link in the description box. Later, you can have a look. This is the same application that we have created in our last session. If you look at the project structure, we have the folders by name models, views and controllers. If we go inside the controllers folder, we have something called as home controller. Today we are going to discuss all the aspects that are related to the controller. Core responsibilities of the controller are handling the incoming request, then talking to the model when that means it can pass the model data to the view, then it is responsible to deliver the right view. Let's start with understanding how the incoming requests are handled by the controller. If you look at the controller, controller is a class that inherits from the base class controller. If you come down, you can see different public methods, index, privacy, and error. These methods are called action methods. We will discuss more about the action methods. Let me just quickly run and show you how this particular application looks. See, this is our application. Right now, we are at the home page. When the user clicks on the privacy tab, the privacy page or the view should get displayed. Technically, controller is responsible to deliver the right view. But how the controller is able to do that? To be able to understand how the controller handles the request, we should understand the endpoint first. Here, if you look at the endpoint, we have local host then the port number home slash privacy. Here we have local host because our application is running in our local system and it is not yet deployed on the server. Then the next part refers to the controller. After the controller, privacy refers to the action method. See, this is the home controller. Inside the home controller, we have different action methods and the particular request is referring to this action method. Now, what is action method? Every public method in a controller is called action method and this method can be called as an HTTP endpoint. Let's verify that. Right now we are at the privacy. If I click on if I click on home tab, then control should take me to the home controller and the index action method. I'll come back to the application. I'll just keep the breakpoint here. Then if I click on see, we are at the home controller and the index action method. Now, what this action method is doing? This action method is returning the view. If you look at the views folder, here you have the stores all the views that are that are related to the home controller. If I expand here, you have this index.cshtml. This is the view for the this is the view for the index page, and the privacy.cshtml is the view for the privacy page. Now, this index action method will return the index view. Again, if I click on continue, now this has delivered the index view. Now you may ask me, is this rule somewhere defined that the endpoint should have the controller name than the action name? Then the answer is yes. You can, you can find that rule inside program.cs file. At the bottom, you have this rule defined here. This map controller route method defines the default route as, as well as the pattern. Here, if you look at this, here the name is given as default. This refers to the default route. When you run the application, even if you don't execute any request, it will direct to the default route and the index and the index action method from the home controller will be displayed. Even you can change this default route. Here, instead of index, if I say privacy, the privacy action method will be the default action method and the privacy view will be the default view. 
if I run the application again, now instead of the index page, the privacy page should be the default page. See, it has changed because we have changed the map controller route. Thus, whenever there is any request, the ASP.NET course routing engine looks at the endpoint, then decides the right controller and hands over that request to the controller. Then controller takes the responsibility to handle the request and take that request further. Now we know how the controller handles the incoming request. Now let's see how it can pass the model data to the view. In our application, the model that we have is error view model. Let me come to the home controller. If you look at the error action method, this action method is returning this error view model. It is creating new instance of error view model and this is returning that model to the view. Which view? Error view. Let me come to the error view. This error view is inside the shade folder. And if I look at the error view, this model is specified here. We call this type of view as strongly type view. We will discuss all about the strongly type view and other aspects of view in a separate session. Let's dedicate this session to the controller. What we have seen here is one way of passing data to the view. Controller can pass the model data to the view in different ways as well. For your information, view bag, view data, and strongly typed view are the different ways controller can pass the data from model to the view. Then view will make, then view will make use of that data. In our example, what we have seen is using the strongly typed view. In this line, the model data is extracted using the at model. We have understood how the controller handles the incoming request. Also, we have discussed how it can pass the model data to the view. Now we shall see how it will deliver the right view. By now, you might have understood how the controller delivers the right view. Whenever there is a request, the controller looks for the action method that is requested. In our case, home is the control. Home is the name of the controller that is home controller and the index action method. Now the home controller will search for the index view. How, uh, how will it search for the index view? It will come to the views folder. Inside the views folder, all the views with respect, uh, all the views that are related to the home controller will be inside the home folder. What I mean to say is the name of the controller and name of the folder inside the view both should match in our case name of the controller is home so inside the views folder it will look for the home folder and inside the home folder it will look for the page that is having the name of the action method here name of the action method is privacy there should be a view with the name privacy then then the controller will deliver that particular view. In our example, index is the name of the view. Inside the home controller, inside the home controller, yes, there is an index action method and this is returning a view. Which view? Now, can you guess what should be the name of the view? The name of the view should be index and that index view should be present inside the home folder so views home then index.cshtml is the right view thus controller always make sure that it delivers the right view to the user now we know different responsibilities of the controller and how it handles them the session will be incomplete if i don't show you how to add new controller to our project right Let's not waste the time. Let's jump into our project and add new controller. Right click on the controllers folder. Add controller. Choose empty controller. Click on add. I'll say tutorial controller. I'll add that controller to our project. Now we have one more controller, tutorial controller. This is very basic controller with single action method that is index action method. Just adding the controller is not sufficient because whenever there is a request for the index action method, our application will obviously throw the error because there is no index view yet. Do you 
do we have that view no we don't have that view yet why not we go ahead and create that view remember we are creating the views for the tutorial controller thus the folder should have the same name as the controller now i'll add new folder and i'll name it as tutorial we have the controller and we have the action method and it is returning a view and we have created the folder inside the views but will it work let's go ahead and check that i'll quickly run the application here is our application we have created the tutorial controller i'll say tutorial and i want the index action method to be delivered no we are getting the error how to fix that? let's go ahead and add new to our project right click on the tutorial folder add this time select view again choose razor view empty let's keep the name as it is index.cshtml because the name of our action method is index it will match the it will match the index action method let's keep it as it is click on add we don't have anything over here what i'll do i'll i'll remove this one and i'll add the h1 tag i'll say tutorial view let's try to run it again again i'll say tutorial then index see we have our new view presented on the screen i'm tutorial view right now our application is very basic but don't worry we will make our application more beautiful in our upcoming sessions all of today's session was to introduce you to the controller and give you some basic understanding of the controller i hope i justified that see you soon in the next video till then keep coding